Here we have the Hexbug Nano Zipline Starter Set. There's 23 pieces in here, including a spiral, a straight length, and a loop around. So there's a 180 degree circular piece down here that you also got in the Raceway sets. The special Hexbug V1 bug, which is yellow with blue insides. I've not got that color, so that's a good addition to my collection. And the special pieces is this gray piece at the top here and this orange piece here. And in between them, they're linked by a cord and the cord is sprung and wound around this bottom piece. So the Hexbug Nano V1 is actually wearing a special shroud that goes over it that has a hook on top, such that when any of the bugs come off over here, they hook themselves on the wire, vibrate their way downhill down to the bottom here, unhook themselves and then carry on. So let's get this open and show you this in action. Okay, now set up, everything on the table you get included in the set, there's a few spare uh, legs. You've also got, which is really good, three additional back clips as well as the one that's on the Nano already within the pack. So you can actually add another three guys, three other Nano, standard Nanos, it clicks on over the shoulder. So you've got here a really nice simple Click, and there we go, another hex bug with the back. So let's get this guy running so you can see this in play. So I've extended the cable out to the furthest extent with the pieces that you get within the set. There he is going climbing, so you assemble the climbing spiral. This looks very similar to other spirals that you get with the Hexbug Nano V1 range, but there's a slight difference which I'll point out later. So here he's at the top, he hooks on, very good, very fast descent very reliable. So I've done this quite a bit now and it's really clever the way they've done this. It always angles and hooks on top. I've never had one miss. So I'm really quite pleased with the way this works. I'm gonna just set off another guy. Now the hex bugs cannot go head to head. So that was very lucky. Um, and also glad the other guy circled around there because they can't overtake. So they're too wide with this clip. So the clip does make them a little bit wide. So there's a few things you need to be aware of and that's certainly one of them. Okay, they're sort of nudging their way up. They're not the best climbers in the world. They've got certainly a little bit more weight on the back. And there goes the brown hex bug. So just to let you know that that yellow bug that comes with the set is nothing special. It's rare, don't get me wrong. It's a special rare color, but it's uh, nothing special intrinsically. So let's get a third one in and we're bound to get a jam. So you're gonna get a situation here where you'll see what I mean by the fact that they're a little bit wider in their bodies and they can't overtake as they're nudging each other up the spiral set. So we'll just see all three bugs go. We'll have a head to head, no doubt. And as you'll see, they can't overtake each other. So you've got to be a little bit careful with this set, but absolutely we've got here ourselves a very clever setup where you can use this creatively. So let's just have a look at how tall this can go. So this extends, so let me just shorten it a little bit. As the yellow guy struggles up, I think I've got a little, uh, got to just do that join correctly. And as you can see, the steeper it is, the sharper the and faster the drop. Too steep and it will fall off. So you can't have it at a, an incredibly acute angle and I'll show you that in a moment. But as you can see, that works quite well. So what I'm now gonna just do is point out one or two other little things. So this spiral has got a slight difference to it here. There's a slight nick in here. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see this. So just give me a second. Okay, here we go on the spiral. There we go. So you see here where my index finger was blocking, I'll use one of their poles that spare. You see here, there's actually a little nick and that allows the hex bug to climb up and to clear the spiral. I'm gonna zoom back out again. And I'm going to quickly introduce a standard spiral and I'll show you what I mean. So I put the yellow bug back in here and I'm going to, I'm going to let you see what I mean. So um, you can just see it here coming through. Let me just try to feed him in. Of course, he's not going to behave now. I want him to, but I'm going to try and feed him up that spiral. Now he goes through that bottom bit, not too bad, but here he's now stuck. So I'm going to zoom in and I'm just going to twist it around a little bit because there's a stalk in the way. So as you can see here, because there's no dink, a standard spiral, you've got to be very careful and clever and space them out. Otherwise, these guys with their backs, with their new hooks on their backs, can't actually get through. Let me just unfree him there. So that's just to show you one pointer that that spiral is actually special and that piece is very special as well. Okay, what I'm now going to do is to introduce a much taller set in front here. And I'm going to bring in a bit more track and we're going to just see as you can see it's quite a bit longer so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this piece and this piece over onto this track and we're going to see the guy doing a much steeper ascent 
descent even, the ascent. I'm going to have to cheat, sorry, I haven't got the spiral set up, so there's no climbing. I'm going to pop them in the top and just show you the descent. Here we go. Okay, so I've set up the special piece, the exit piece, and the strung, sprung, wound wire here. And I'm going to just feed this guy off the top. Now, as you saw, that was a very, very steep descent, and he actually fell off near the bottom. No worries, I'm going to just quickly stretch this out to its full extent. And what you'll see is, this time, much better. So really, really fast, real kind of Tom Cruise, James Bond zip wire effect there going on. So that works really well. So as you can see, this set is no, I managed to spin them around. That was quite clever. These guys are going to be off in the tablecloth. I've not got all the doors shut. But as you can see, okay, <laughs> they uh, they don't particularly want to overtake too much, but they certainly can go down a much steeper, deeper decline. Let's just get that yellow guy across. Let's get the brown guy going. There we go. That's better. That's what I was trying to show you. A little bit of a tag team going on there. So there you see the zip wire in its full glory. The set itself contains the one spiral on the right, and I think it's a, a neat little addition. You've got to be a little bit careful how you use it with spirals, etc. But I'm sure if you're clever, and uh, you might meet, may need to modify some of the uh, older original spirals that you might have. But absolutely, that's a minor inconvenience to extend the kind of options you've now got because what you can then have are some hex bugs that can go over things because obviously I've got all this linked up. But what, of course, you don't really be doing is to separate the areas out. You'd actually have a setup where only hex bug zip wire configured bugs can get to at certain areas. You'd have this curving around this bit of separate area and uh, possibly it's, a, it's, a, it's an avenue for uh, special May setups where you want to do some very convoluted sets where you want to keep these guys, uh, more acrobatic guys, uh, in, a, in a different area or removed or separate from normal hex bugs. So these clips, they're great little backpacks. There's four of them in the box, which I think is really pleased. They don't make a big enough thing about that. So you don't just get the one bug doing this. You can have up to four bugs doing this. You've got to be a little bit careful because they are wide and they don't overtake too well, as you saw. They've got to barge their way past. Don't get me wrong, hex bugs are good at barging and pushing, but you've got to be careful with that. Hope you enjoyed my video. Feel free to like, subscribe and comment.